കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഹയർ സെക്കൻഡറി എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ഹാവ് മെയ്ഡ് ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഇൻട്രോൾ ഇൻ അവർ ഡേ ടു ഡേ ലൈഫ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ഇൻ അവർ തിങ്കിങ് പ്രോസസ് computers we are using in the very walks of life if you are going to take the list of applications of computer the items in that particular list may not be terminated we are using computers right from or ranging from complex calculations that are carried out in front line research stations to a kid who is playing a game means its applications are confined in the limitations of human creativity and human imagination usually teachers are saying especially language teacher will say love is everywhere mathematical teacher will say numbers are everywhere physics teacher will say motion is everywhere now i can say all the teachers and all the persons who are in this world will say computers are everywhere that is why uh, we cannot make the list of applications of computer it is we can see computers are in business field process station defense designing then education gaming etc why computers are this much prominent because it's ease with which data can be processed it's ease with which data data can be stored as well as retrieved that is why in a very walks of life we can see computers therefore it is essential for every educated person to know about computers how we process the data what are the weakness of computer what are the strength of the computer as well as its internal structure too and that is what we are going to discuss in this particular chapter fundamentals of computer data and uh, information data are unorganized facts or raw materials for making information data denotes raw facts and figures such as amount words numbers that can be processed or manipulated so actually data are nothing but raw material to produce information how can we produce information only after performing some process upon data we will get the information so usually data represented by numbers characters and symbols i have given given here an example 17 raju date if you are going to think 17 it is nothing but a number nowadays nothing but raju and date if you are going to take these all words and numbers individually it doesn't convey any specific meaning what do you mean by information information is a relevant knowledge produced as the output of data processing see relevant knowledge means that can be applied in different uh, situation so after performing some process upon data we will get the uh, information how we will get information it is nothing but an out product of data processing so information is data arranged in an order and they are useful to the people for their needs see data and information we can do discussion with the help of few example look at the following kiran 65 kerala see if you are going to take the word kiran as such it is nothing but name of a person if you are going to take 65 it is nothing but a number and kerala it is nothing but name of a state it don't convey a specific meaning but if you are going to perform some operation upon that by adding few more words and uh, after arranging all these three 
words, you know, Kiran 65 and Kerala in a specific order, we will get a, a complete sense or complete, inf complete information. See, uh, that is Kiran aged 65 is staying at Kerala. At that time, we will get a complete information regarding uh, a specific situation. Kiran, a person aged 65 is staying at Kerala. So, if you are going to perform this type of operations upon data, we will get a complete information. So, definitely to get information, we have to perform an operation. Operations are a different style, maybe sorting, maybe adding, maybe deleting, maybe arranging. So, these are the different types of operations uh, we can perform upon data. See, Look at the certificate given for a student after completing an examination. So here uh, we can see two types of data. Personal details of the student Anida Mohan and uh, information regarding uh, the grade. I mean the data regarding the grade. See here all the facts regarding the personal details and uh, grade information are arranged in a stipulated manner see what are the different types of uh, data anida mohan then female then date of birth you can see 13 uh, then 4 4 1997 so these are the different uh, data personal data regarding the person anida mohan and you can see the grade uh, a plus uh, a etc. If you are going to take all these things, these, these are nothing but the data. So facts and figures that represent the personal details and the grades are the data. See, these data are specified with the help of a suitable label. Then it becomes information about the student. See here all the data, either personal or grade all the things are attached with the proper label for example name of the candidate anida mohan so anida mohan is nothing but name of the candidate a plus so maybe a grade in first language so if you are going to add labels for each data that gives you a complete information regarding the person anida mohan as well as the score scored by the candidate so we can say that score sheet contains the information about the performance of student in an examination okay let us distinguish between data and uh, information data are raw facts and figures so raw material for producing uh, information is known as data so after performing operation different types of operations upon data we will get information that is why information is nothing but processed data definitely data cannot be directly used see but adds knowledge in decision making information adds knowledge in decision decision making if uh, if you have more information we can apply that information in different situation if you have more information definitely we can say we have more knowledge because information adds to knowledge and that knowledge can be used for making decision as well as it can be used for taking decision data does not give clear sense i said it is a raw, raw material or raw facts but information gives clear and meaningful sense now what was intelligence if you have more knowledge definitely we can apply the knowledge in different situations for example if you are go if you are walking through a street assume a dog is walking towards you we will behave in some manner assume a dog is running towards you we will behave in another method assume a dog is rushing towards you we will behave in different manner so based on the inferences we are uh, receiving from the situation we will behave then we can say we have intelligence 
so ability to draw useful inferences from the acquired knowledge is known as intelligence so nowadays different uh, researchers are happening or uh, tremendous amount of researchers are doing the field of uh, intelligence uh, trying to make the computer to do thing by itself that is nothing but the world of artificial intelligence